Hi there, this is Mr. Boyd. In today's video, I will discuss different software solutions to optimize the gaming performance of your Windows 10 PC. Windows 10 is the platform of choice for PC gamers for a reason. Not only is Windows 10 compatible with almost all major PC games from the last couple of decades, but you can also tweak a number of built-in settings and third-party software to get the best possible performance for playing your favorite games. Okay, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is enable Game Mode in Windows 10. Perhaps the easiest and most obvious way to tweak performance on your PC is to enable the Game Mode in Windows 10. This feature stops background activities like Windows updates and app notifications to help boost frames per second in your games. Here's how to enable Game Mode. Press Windows key plus I to launch Windows settings. Type in Game Mode in the search box. Click Game Mode settings or turn on Game Mode. On the gaming screen, click Game Mode. Switch to On to use Game Mode. If your PC supports Game Mode, resources will be managed to achieve the optimum frame rate. Additionally, Windows Update will be suspended. Next on our list is disabling SysMain. There are a few Windows 10 services that are the main culprit in eating up your CPU resources. SysMain is a Windows 10 system service which makes sure that the most accessed data is available right from the RAM. However, if you disable the service, you will notice a huge decrease in CPU usage. Here's how to do it. Press Windows key plus R. Run window will pop up. Then type services.msc and click OK. The whole list of Windows services should open up. Scroll down below and find SysMain. When found, right-click on the service and select Properties. When the Service Properties opens up, you will find a Startup Type option in the General tab. Change that to Disabled through the drop-down menu and press OK. Next on our list is turning off Windows 10 tips. If you are new to Windows 10, the cool tips that pop up to show you the way can be pretty helpful. However, if you have been using Windows 10 for a while now, you should know that these tips might be the cause of your PC's high CPU usage. To turn off Windows 10 tips, go to Windows Settings, System, Notifications, and Actions. Here, turn off Get Notifications from Apps and Other Senders. Next on our list is optimizing Windows 10 online gaming with faster DNS. If you're playing online multiplayer or relying on a remote server for Windows 10 gaming, network traffic can cause problems. While upgrading to faster internet can help, it's quicker and cheaper to just make some networking tweaks. Hit Windows plus I to open the Settings app. Next, depending on the type of internet connection, choose either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. After choosing the type of internet connection, Click Change Adapter Settings. It's on the right side. Right-click on your wireless network. Select Properties. High Internet Protocol Version 4. Make a note of the two DNS entries for future reference. Replace them with 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. Click OK and then select Close. Restart your default browser. Your internet should now be faster, which will help with online gaming. Next on our list is tweaking Windows 10 visual effects for better game performance. Your computer's graphical user interface can be a hindrance to your processing power. By default, your Windows 10 settings are set to better appearance. Games running in the foreground may conflict with a shiny GUI running in the background. Adjust these settings to optimize Windows 10 for gaming performance. Open Settings with Windows key plus I. Type in Performance and select Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. In the Settings box, select Adjust for Best Performance. Click Apply. Click on the Advanced tab. Ensure that Adjust the Best Performance of is set to Programs. Apply again, and then click on OK to confirm. Next on our list is changing the Power Plan options. Power options are often ignored due to their supposedly negligible effect. Some gamers claim adjusting for higher performance works, while others fail to notice any difference by changing their PC power settings. The only way to know for sure is to test it out on your PC. To change your power settings, open Settings. Type in Power and click Power and Sleep Settings. Then, on the right side of the window, click Additional Power Settings. 
select either the High Performance option or the Ultimate Performance. If none is available, use Create a Power Plan to configure a new, custom power plan. This option will allow your PC to perform better at the cost of higher energy consumption and temperature levels. For this reason, it's better to activate this Windows 10 optimization on the desktop rather than on laptop PCs. Next on our list is keeping your GPU Windows 10 drivers up to date. Your GPU, graphics processing unit, is the core of your PC gaming experience. However, the GPU requires the latest Windows driver to keep it working faster and better. All graphics cards, no matter how old or new, benefit from continually updated drivers. To check your GPU name and specs, right-click Desktop, select Display Settings, Advanced Display Settings. At the bottom, find Display Adapter Properties. You can download driver updates through this window under Properties, Driver, Update Driver. Alternatively, visit the manufacturer's website to ensure the driver is up to date. The last on our list is tweaking your mouse settings for Windows 10 Gaming. A feature called Pointer Precision, also known as Mouse Acceleration, can impact how your mouse performs in games. Disabling it can help to optimize gaming in Windows 10. Here's how you can do that. Open Settings. Click Devices, Mouse. Then, on the right side of the window, click Additional Mouse Options. View the Pointer Options tab. Clear the Enhanced Pointer Precision checkmark. Click Apply. Click OK to exit. You might also adjust the pointer speed to suit. If gaming has improved, your mouse was almost certainly slowing things down. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.